Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another episode of the Fashion Review Show with your favorite host, Erady Mew. <laughs> Let's take this again. Welcome! <laughs> Welcome to another episode of the Fashion Review Show with your favorite host, Moa Charlie Dior, the AMVCA edition. Yes! It's another year, and if you haven't watched the AMVCA last year's episode, listen, the link will be in the description box below. Make sure to watch that, okay? We are here to give you another episode of that. Before we even continue, oh my gosh, people, you guys blew up the video, the last video that I uploaded, the, the VGMA's video, it went everywhere, over 100k views so far, like, thank you, thank you, thank you to my loyal fans, to my loyal subscribers, if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please, this is your time for you to do so, because we are going places, oh, <laughs> we are going places. I couldn't be happier like thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you. i'm super 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 grateful this is a special edition of the fashion review show we are talking about the amvca and what is that this is held um annually to recognize the outstanding performance in television entertainment and film okay and with that of course comes the red carpet and that's where i come in okay <laughs> to review everything fashion hello everyone my name is linda osifo and i am live on amvca and yes we are at the red carpet we are about to jet off to nigeria to talk about the amvca we're gonna do things a little bit different today i am counting down my top 10 best dressed at the amvca oh yes because the nigerians they brought it they brought it i was so much impressed with what they did on the red carpet, with what they did with, with their looks, with what they did with fashion. So yes, I'll be counting down the top 10. So, are you ready? You need to be watching this with your girls and your girls, if you know what I mean. So grab your drink. Haha, <laughs> and let's talk Ashe. Hi everyone. Oh, let's do it again, sorry. Hi everyone, this is your best friend, Charlie Dior. Let's talk fashion. Let's start the countdown, people. The number 10 on my list for best dressed goes to Sandra Asian. Yes, yeah, Sandra Asian is an ex big brother, um, Titan housemate, and she looks divine i mean this is styled by macklin scout she looks like beautiful she looked like a, a flower that you could pick from a beautiful garden like <laughs> of course this this outfit is a nod from cardi b's look from this year's uh, met gala as soon as i saw it i said oh this kind of looks familiar and that's okay i feel like we all get inspired by looks right we all get inspired but what you need to do when it comes to fashion is not to copy and paste does that make sense i hate when people see an outfit and then they do the exact same thing i mean add your own personality to it add your own twist to it what i say add your own twist to it and i think that's what she did she took what cardi b did at the met gala and said hmm, how can i add my own personality to it how can I give it color? How can I give it a little of a womb? And that's what Sandra did. She looks glam, she looks beautiful. The hair and makeup looks flawless. It's giving texture with the flowers and the velvet and the corset. I mean, come on, this is how you do it. This is how you do it, my people. And before we even go further into the show, a little note to my people. Do a photo shoot before you go to the event. Yes. You know why? Because those fi those pictures, those photos are the photos that are going to be running on the blogs, on the websites, in the magazines, on the fashion review shows. Those are the photos that we are going to be using. So before you go to the VGMAs, before you go to the Three Music Awards, before you go to any events, if you can, do a photo shoot. Put it on social media. Those photos will go far. It's just a little tip. 
And I think that's what most of the attendees, they did before they even arrived at the event. She killed this. She killed this look. She killed this look. And I will be giving this look a 6.6 .6 out of 10. 6.6 <laughs> .6 out of 10 because, you know, the, the only reason being that it's, it's kind of familiar, even though she, you know, she, she added her own twist to it. 6.6, .6. she looks beautiful, and she was my number 10 best dress list on the red carpet. <laughs> All right, let's move on to the next. And the next, number nine, we have Bimbo Ademoye. Bimbo is an actress and a brand influencer. This dress is by Extra Bright Lagos. Wow. I mean, we have spoken about Extra Bright Lagos for a while now. They do amazing, amazing, amazing work. Make sure you check them out on Instagram. This was styled by Swanky Jerry. And we all know Swanky Jerry is, like, I mean, one of the gods when it comes to styling, okay? He is amazing and he's currently um, featured in uh, the young... Are they young, rich, um, African show on Netflix? <laughs> yes, Bimbo is one of the most hardworking women in the game. I mean, her performance in her in her movies is just outstanding. It's just top notch. She also took home the award for best actress in the comedy series for her role in Selena, which I think she deserved. Um, I mean that that whole group was was really tight. I mean she was competing with Funke, she was competing with Mercy Johnson, and for her to come out as the winner, both, I mean in the category and in my book, as one of the fashionistas of the night. I mean bravo, bravo, bravo. She looks amazing. The dress complements her skin so so well. The mint green color against the skin. The hair pulled back. One thing you guys should know about me is I love a hair pulled back. Because that's what separates the girls from the girls. That's what separates the goats from the sheep. <laughs> when we can see that bone structure. When we can see that beautiful skin. When we can see that beautiful face. When we can see that beautiful makeup. That's when you know you are doing it. Is this too much to ask? I don't think so. And have you guys seen anybody carrying a, a, a handbag? Have you seen? There's no handbag on the red carpet, so oh. have, have you? You see what's going on? Listen to me. Listen to me when I tell you I know what I'm talking about. Sometimes I do. I hope we are all learning from this. <laughs> because we can do it. Being in Africa is not an excuse. Don't say, "Oh, this is a Western thing." No. They are Africans and they are doing it, so we can do it as well. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. Bimbo, you killed the red carpet. You definitely deserve to be on my list for best dress, okay? We will give this look a six. <laughs> hey, I feel like I'm giving too low grade, though. But um, a 6.8 out of 10. I mean, you killed this look. Next, we have Prince Nelson, Prince Nelson is. Uh, there's a lot of big brothers in the building. Okay, there's a lot of big brother castmates on the list because they bring it. I mean, this is this is one of the things that they have. Okay, to show up to look good is one of the things that most most of them do well in. Okay, um, he's also Mr. World. He won Mr. World, um, in 2019 and Mr. Nigeria in 2018. Um, this outfit is by Kimono Collections. Check them out on Instagram. Um, listen, this when I saw this, I was like, wow, wow. Men's wear tends to be one way sometimes and a little boring. That's why me, I mix it up. Okay, but um, <laughs> we can see here that he's wearing this bedazzled um blazer. Um, with this flare pants or trousers, um, as some people call it, with a pop of color asymmetrical vest. Mm. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? I thought this was different. My only thing was the glasses is selling a kind of a different story than the rest of the look. I felt like if we, he would have gotten a, a, a different shape sunglasses, it would have been better for me. However, Prince killed this look. It was 
absolutely phenomenal. It was amazing. It's clean. It fits. The purple color works for me. The red pickable works for me. The pants, the trouser is the, it, it, it's it's like the measurement. It's it's right. This is how I want to see Kwapna Kwapna look. Is this too much to ask? This is what I want to see Elikom Kumoji look. To me, this is seven out of ten. Beautiful. You killed it on the red carpet. Um, next we have Tasha. Tasha, Tasha, Tasha. I love me some Tasha. You guys know we've already we've been featuring Tasha on the fashion review show um for, for some time now. She always always brings it. This dress is by um Tulu. Tulu Bali. It's by Tulu Bali. You guys can check them out on um, Instagram. Let's not forget, okay, that Tasha <laughs> has great fans, okay? So I'm, I'm, I'm kind of treading lightly because I don't want them coming for me. <laughs> She's bold and she stands in what she believes in. She posted this look and also posted the invoice, which I thought was a bit unnecessary. Like she's telling the world that this dress costs $20,000. <laughs> God have mercy upon us. Twenty thousand what? As in dollars? <laughs> I, I, I thought it was a bit unnecessary because if you have to tell us how much the dress cost, then deep down you know that the dress is not doing what it needs to do. I mean, the dress needs to speak for itself. The outfit needs to speak for itself. You need to leave that to us, to our imagination, right? To wonder, mm, I wonder how much this this fit costs. Like, let us worry about that. Don't you don't need to be telling the world that your your whole look costs twenty thousand dollars. The look needs to scream priceless. Actually, <laughs> the look it needs to scream priceless. However. Yeah, she killed it. I love the color. I love the shape. I love the see-through. I mean, the only thing that you know, I, I don't, I didn't really care for are the feather, feathers earring. Like it was, uh, I, 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 you could have went with a different earring, right? But I love it. I love it. Like once again, Tasha is playing with texture. She is playing with shape. She was one of the ladies that went for colors, for the bold colors. She did that. I love this. I love this from Tasha. You did well. Congratulations for being the number seven on <laughs> my let as best dress. Congratulations. Um, next we have Mercy Igbe. She's an actress and a filmmaker. This dress is by CEO Lumini Official. Um, mm, 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 mm. another look that had me go gaga. Oh yes. Oh yes. Nigerian so you see how they are doing us like each look is like is like they, they planned it she didn't just wake up draw this gave it to her friend to make oh this is well planned strategy only strategy in the num everything is planned well executed this is what I need from my people. Listen, Mercy never misses, actually. She pays attention to details. She slays every damn time. We have been watching her from afar. Oh, yes. <laughs> I just love a woman that cares about her look. I love a woman that, that owns her sexuality, that owns her body, that owns her bossness. She pays attention to her aesthetics, to her body. She presents, she, she presents it really, really well, really, really clean. This is what I want to see for my people. She looks like a jewel. I mean, look at her. Who's going to check her? Nobody. And we all know that allegedly, you know, she was involved in the domestic abuse issues. This is how you come out of it. This is how you should look. After going through life, after going through certain situations, this is how you need to come out. You need to come out looking not like a victim. You need to come out looking like, like a winner. And she is definitely a winner in my book. We are definitely buying this look. 
I would give this like an 8 out of 10. She slayed. <laughs> Alright, and number 5 on my list is Aibo. First of all, I'm going to be like messing up your names because some of these names are very strong. <laughs> Aibo Ojo is an um, actress and also part of the Real Housewives of Lagos stars. The hair is by T Gold Hair. Makeup is by Mirel Beauty. And listen, when I first saw this look, I was like, this lady is on fire. <laughs> she's on fire. I mean, the dress is literally lit. It looks like she's burning up from the ground up. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. That she played with the with with the fire, you know, with the with the whole idea of a fire. Like the the colors are working for her. The shape are working for her. She looks very gothic yet glam. She's giving us glamour. She's giving us fashion. This is such a custom piece. You can tell that this was just made for her. This was just made for her. Custom piece. She spent money on this. Her and makeup looks good. She gave us smoky eyes. Glam. Are you guys watching this? Hmm? If you keep giving me looks like this, looks like this, then my, my job is done. Then my job is done. This is beautiful. Definitely deserve to be on my list. Okay, we are buying this. I'll give this look 8.10 out of 10. Oh my. <laughs> Next, we have Yemi Craig. Yemi Craig is all, was also part of the Big Brother Titan housemaid. Um, let me tell you, this, this, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. Before I, I, I even, uh, <laughs> the, the whole AMVCA started, I was worried about the men. I said, oh my gosh, I hope the men don't come on the red carpets giving us all kaftans. Because I'm tired. I'm sick and tired of the kaftans, 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 and the political suits. But if you're going to do a kaftan or a political suit, this is how you need to do it. You have to take it to the next level. And what does that mean? It means that your, the choice of fabric is very, very important. It means whoever, whoever is making the look, the measurement is very, very important. It means you adding things to it. A little bit of sparkles here, a little bit of stones here, just to elevate the look. This is how you take a boring traditional uh, political suit look and you take it to another level. My Ghanaian celebrities, my Ghanaian men, are you looking? Are you watching? Are you studying? Please take a shower. Groom yourself. Go like, like James Garner, are you Zion Felix? Watch, are you seeing this? It's okay. To, it's okay to manscape before a big red carpet. It's okay. Go take a shower. Go get a haircut. Groom yourself. If you have to apply a little bit of foundation here, foundation there, that's okay. It's all part of self care. Polish your shoe. <laughs> if your lips are crusty, put a little bit of moisture, like moisturize your lips. There is nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with it. This is how I want to see James Gardner look. DJ Azuntu, are you watching? Let's take it serious. Let's take the brand seriously. You definitely deserve to be on my list as number four. Uh, best dressed uh, um, looks when it when it came down to uh, um, the red carpet. You killed this. I would give this a eight point thirty. <laughs> eight. Your money eight. I need money nine. Your money eight. Cause he did well. I love the 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 the, the pants. You guys see how fit the pants look. Give us a little slit here, a little slit there. Come on, this is what I want to say. Ajo. Ajo. <laughs> My number three on the list goes to Ini Edo, who is an actress and also a producer. 
Um, listen, Ini Ado has been killing it in the game for a long, 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 long time, okay? Over a decade, and she's still competing with the young folks. She's still competing with the, with the new generation, and that's very, very hard to do. She's competing with them when it comes to beauty, when it comes to body, when it comes to face, when it comes to looks, when it comes to lips, when it comes to eyes, when it comes to talent, when it comes to acting. She is competing with them and she's winning. She is not slowing down. She is wearing this diamond and you guys know diamonds are a girl's best friend. The only thing that I will say about this is that I feel like the background is kind of taken away from the entire look. But apart from that, honey, she is slaying. She's slaying. She's slaying. I will give this look a 9 out of 10. You definitely deserve to be on my level. Makeup looks good. The clam, the boobies are standing. The boobies are standing. <laughs> you slave congratulations mama congrats <laughs> all right let's move on to the number two on my list goes to we are coming back to ghana it goes to nana ikea ado yes you guys know i live for nana ikea ado even though she has blocked me why did she block me nana ikea nana ikea ado you don't block me really I'm black because I love you. I feel like you are the creme de la creme in Ghana when it comes to fashion, when it comes to looks. You serve and you did not disappoint with this look. This look was styled by Yato Ghana. They did very, very well. I mean, the color against her skin is just phenomenal. Incredible. She looks amazing. But was she at the event? I didn't see her at the event, too. Was she there? I, I also saw on social media that somebody commented saying Nana Ikeado doesn't do anything all year She just gets up <laughs> and, 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 and puts a look together for the AMVCA Really? The shade of it all But I feel like this is beautiful I mean the workmanship that went into this The look Incredible Incredible You can tell that this was Like strategically made and delicately placed on her body this is what you see behind a glass when you go to the museum this is what you see this is art this is art a few people came in my dm saying they wanted to burn this look i said no we're not burning this look we're not, are you crazy we're not burning this look she did this this is pure art this is what you see at the museum so this is what you see I felt like she came through, she stood her ground, she stood, she, she, she's bold, she definitely represented Ghana very, very well with this look. I love the fact that she put, once again, I love her hair pulled back, she put her hair back. Um, did she really need those big glasses? No, she didn't. The, the dress would have stood on, on its own and did not need any other um, distractions. She really, really did this. I am super, super proud of this look. The details in this and she's also very much obsessed with birds i don't know why but she uh, she's very very much obsessed with birds because she kind of gave another eagle inspired look in the past and then here again we are seeing a bird i i i don't know you know she's very much upset but i'm also obsessed with her in tia no no um she definitely deserves to be on the list for best dress i will give this look a 9.5 out of 10. she killed this look Congratulations, Nana, um, Ikea Ado. I love you, okay? Cheers. All right, so let's calm down, y'all. Number one on my list goes to Lillian Affect. Affect, babe. Please, how do you pronounce this? Lillian. Number one goes to Lillian. Lillian is an actress. This dress is by Erica Moore, um, Erica Moore brand. Um, the makeup is by Revy Beauty and is styled by none other by Swan Swanky Jerry. Okay, this was styled by Swanky Jerry. And when I saw this, I texted my producer. I said, Oh my god, I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry. She looks beautiful, she looks amazing. This is how I want my people to look. I 
said, who is this lady? Because I, I didn't know who she was. I said, who is this lady? Who is Lillian? She came through. She gave us a simple, slick, straight, cut out, black dress with the lace. Lace are very, very, lace done well are very, it's, it's, it's such a beauty. It's such a beauty and she did it here. It's very, very sexy. It's sultry. It's classy. And it's hard to do. Hair pulled back. Her makeup. I want I want to get to know her. Like seeing this, seeing this looks makes me so so happy. It makes me so emotional. I love this for her. I love this for her. You can see the inside beauty as well. Ah, 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 ton 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 ton. This is how you do with my people. I thought she looked breathtaking. And I bet you she smelled so good that night as well. <laughs> oh my gosh! Wine penny, wine penny, wine penny. Me want batty shock. Me want baby at the shock. Oh my god! The background, the photo shoots, the skin, the glow. This is how you do it. The body. Simple though. Simple, but it, it, it did what it needed to do. Simple. And you can barely even see her shoes. And do you see her carrying a bag? No. Oh. Da bang. D for the bang. D for the bang. This is how I want Sandra and Kobe to look. This is how I want Sina Soul. This is how I want who else? Uh, um, Selma Moomin. This is how I want you guys to look. Are we watching? Are we learning? Best dress on the red carpet goes to Lily. Congratulations, girl. You absolutely look divine. You look incredible. You killed it. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. 10 across the board yes people we have come to the end of the show and there you have it my top 10 look at the amvca awards who was your top 10 you um if you guys can list them in the comments that would be great i want to know who your top top 10 was um was any of them on the list that was just um presented let me know okay make sure to keep um following me on all my social media platforms subscribe to the channel it's very very important if you need more quality content you have to please please subscribe to the channel and until next time please oh i want to give a big shout out to the producer and also the editor for doing an amazing amazing work and as you guys always know if you do not want me to talk about it then don't wear it <laughs> bye <laughs>